it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a couple of oh, Winston. Um, anyway, it's been a weird couple of weeks. Um, I haven't posted on here in a while, and I'm sorry about that. Um, I was going to do a vlog, um, kind of like a week-long vlog. I went home for Thanksgiving, and that was the first time that I have gone home since I've been out here in Los Angeles. And I was going to vlog, um, I was home for a week and I was going to vlog every day, kind of like what I did that day, who I saw, um, you know, just kind of like a good, like, heartwarming, homecoming thing. I don't know, it was gonna be cute. And I vlogged um, the morning that I left, I vlogged, Denise and I uh, made like a little snippet before we went to the airport, she dropped me off. And then I vlogged in the airport, and like, as I was having my layovers throughout the day, I would vlog while I was like waiting on my plane or whatever. And then um, once I actually like got home, I apparently forgot how to vlog because I did not vlog the entire time I was home. I don't really know why. Um, I had totally planned to, I like, had even planned out what parts, because I knew what I was going to be doing before I actually went home, and I like, planned out what parts of each day I thought would be interesting to vlog, and I just didn't do it. Just completely just, like, didn't happen. Um, and then as I was flying back home, I, my first layover, I was hanging out in the airport and I was like, I'm kind of bored, what can I do right now? And I was like, oh, I should vlog. And then I was like, wait a minute, I didn't vlog the entire time I was there. And so, anyway. So that video didn't happen. I apologize. We're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> but anyway, today I thought I would do um, a tag that I've been seeing a lot lately, and that is the what's in my bag tag. Um, what's in my bag, my normal purse that I carry day to day, is pretty boring. It's just like the usual like lip gloss, wallet, that kind of stuff. So I thought I would do a little bit of a different spin on it and show you guys what is in my bag when I go to set. So to start off, my set bag is huge. It is actually the backpack that I used in college. Um, that might seem a bit excessive, but as I go through and explain what everything is, like why it's in there, I think it'll make a little more sense and you'll be like, oh yeah, she really does need all that stuff. I really don't need all that stuff, but I like to take it with me. So the first thing in here is my water bottle. Um, most of the time they do have water on set, but I like to bring this one with me because I drink it in the car on the way there. Um, because I'm like a chronic overhydrator. The next thing is my planner. Um, and here I have like all of the details written down, like where I'm supposed to be going, what time I'm supposed to be there, what the name of the production is. And also I like to bring this with me because if I get a call telling me that I'm booked on something the next day, I can get it down with me and I don't have to worry about remembering the details for later. The next thing in here is a book. I'm currently on Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, that's how far I am in it, a little over halfway. I like to bring a book with me because um, a lot of people think that movie sets and film sets are like really exciting and it's like go, 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 like you never get a break. Um, but actually it's pretty boring sometimes. Um, while they're setting up the shots, like it's basically a lot of hurry up and wait. There are moments where it's like go, 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 and like some days you don't get a break, but most of the time you spend the majority of the day waiting. So I like to be prepared, I like to bring a book with me. The next thing I have in here is a jacket. This one is from H&M. It's really nice, it has fleece on the inside. It's great, I love it. And um, some days when I'm at work, I can get there before the sun comes up and then some days I don't get to go home until after the sun has gone down. So when the sun is not in the sky here in the lovely Southern California area, it is very, very cold. So it's always a good idea to bring a jacket. The next thing in here is deodorant, self-explanatory, very, very necessary. The next thing I have in here is an umbrella, which you might think is unnecessary in California, but it does rain sometimes. And also in the afternoon, sometimes it can get really, really sunny. So the sad but true thing is I use this more for sun protection than rain protection but I don't want to get sunburned and I don't want skin cancer, so yay umbrella. The next thing in here is a bottle of Excedrin migraine. I get migraines really, really bad, and so I always have to keep these with me because it can really impact not only my mood, but my quality of work that day. So I like to have these with me so that I can be my best self. 
The next thing in here is a bottle of Aleve, kind of for the same reason. I guess I basically carry a little pharmacy in my backpack. But yeah, this is for like minor headaches, any other sort of pain, joint pain. You know, it's just always good to have a pain reliever. Okay, next I have this little emergency kit from Francesca's. This has everything in it. It has clear nail polish, it has a little sewing kit, it has more like ibuprofen type stuff in it, it has a tampon, it has like floss, a little bit of hairspray even. Perfect for any girl or woman. Um, and this is great to have with me at all times. Next I have, this is my external battery for my phone. Um, it's huge, I call it my brick because it is the size and weight of a brick. This one is great, it has a ton of power in it. Um, I don't remember the exact like unit of it, but it's enough to charge my phone and my iPad like two full times each. And it also has two ports in it, so I really really like this one because if I'm on set and someone else's phone is dying, I can be like, here, I have an extra port. And it makes me super popular on set. Let's see if that hurt. Um, it makes me super popular on set too, which is nice, it's like kind of a conversation starter, because obviously if someone needs to charge their phone from you, they're gonna have to sit there and talk to you while they do it. So I really like this guy. The next thing in here, which kind of follows the brick, is a phone cord, which I actually broke on set yesterday. I need to replace it. If anyone has or knows of like the indestructible phone cord, hit me up with a link in the comments section because girlfriend goes through phone cords like no one's business. Um, the next thing I have in here is a small purse in here. It's just like my wallet, chapstick, um, like blotting powder and a nail file I think is all that's in here. Um, this is just like a compacted version of my usual purse and it's just small enough to keep in my backpack. So Next we're going to move on to this little front pocket. Um, let's see, in here I have about seven different pens. Pens are super important to bring to you with set because you need it to fill out your paperwork and um, they don't always have extra pens because people steal them, so they like for you to bring your own. So I have like seven different ones in here. The next thing in here, I think this used to be a kind bar. Um, it's kind of crumbly now. I should probably replace it. But this is just a good thing to have just in case like my stomach starts growling and like, you know, if crafty's like a long way away, I don't know, I just like to have food. It's a good, it's a good like life principle to live by. Always have a kind bar somewhere on your person. Next, I have an extra set of headphones, which is self-explanatory. Then I have a little thing of um, hand sanitizer. This one's from Bath & Body Works, it smells pretty good. Next, uh, this used to be a box of Dayquil. It's kind of become destructed now. There's just a couple in there. Um, I went through like a month and a half of being pretty sick consistently. Um, for like eight straight weeks, I had a cold. So I was on Dayquil a lot. Um, this was great for me because it like made me sound more human, <laughs> which is important, especially when you're in front of a camera. Um, you don't want to sound like you're dying, even if you feel like you're dying. Um, it also made me feel like I was not dying as much. Um, so basically this is an upper and it was great during that time. Um, I guess I can probably throw it away now but I probably will leave these two doses that are left in my backpack because, you know, in my book, I'd rather be safe than sorry. If I happen to start feeling, you know, down again, I can use these to get myself back up off the ground. <laughs> this makes it look like I like take um, over-the-counter drugs constantly. I promise I don't. Um, I just like to apparently carry a small pharmacy with me. I don't really know what's up with that, but it happens apparently. Next I have a little thing of hand cream. This one is from First Aid Beauty. I love it. It's the Ultra Repair Cream. It's really nice on my hands. Um, this is the travel size bottle. I love it. It came in my Ipsy bag like a year or so ago and I actually have refinished it because I loved it so much and it's the perfect size to carry with me and my hands get really dry which is weird because like my face is super oily but my body's super dry. So it's like, I don't know what happened there, but I like to keep this guy with me because I hate when my hands are like scratchy and dry. It's just really uncomfortable. Next, I have a Tide pin. Um, this one, I feel like, tells its own story, but um, I'm not always the best, like the cleanest eater. Um, I usually do pretty well, but just in case something happens, I like to have this with me because 
I can't afford the clothes that they put me in, so I cannot buy them from them. So I like to have this with me so that I can give the clothes back nice and pretty as they were given to me. The next thing in here is a little compact mirror. Um, this one is silver and it has my initials and braids on it. Um, I like to carry this one with me mainly for sentimental reasons um, because this one was a Christmas present from my favorite cousin when I was like 11, I think, and it was like the first grown-up Christmas present I ever got, and I've always carried it with me, and um, I don't know, it just comes to set with me every day, and I use it a lot, so thumbs up, Mandy, you did a good job on that one. <laughs> the next thing in here is a Disneyland photo pass card. I don't know why that's in there. This backpack has never even been to Disneyland, so that's interesting. I don't know where that came from. And the last thing in here is a flash drive. I don't know what's on this. We're gonna have to watch and find out. Hopefully it's something interesting. I'll let you know maybe. We'll see later. All right guys, so that was what was in my set bag. Um, I found a couple interesting things that I did not know were in there. Um, yeah, most of the stuff I have I feel like is pretty necessary. Um, leave me a comment down below if you think any of these items are exceptionally weird or ex like excessively unnecessary. Um, I probably won't take any of them out except for the ones like at the end that I found like at the bottom that I really don't need in there. Those will probably go away. But most of the stuff is going to stay with me because I don't use it all every time I'm on set, but I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And that's how I pack too, like when I go on trips. And I know that's not the best way to live my life because it means I'm constantly hauling around a bunch of extra stuff, but it makes me feel more secure. Um, so I don't know, it's like a weird little quirk in my being. I don't know. <laughs> All right guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Um, I'm really awkward. Maybe it'll make them feel better about themselves. Who knows? You should just share it with them and we'll find out. Also, leave me a comment telling me if you think there's anything else I should put in my bag. Are any of the things that were in my bag things that are in your bag? Let me know that as well. And also leave me a comment if there's any videos that you want to see me do without He doesn't like those, the studio light up there. But anyway, Winston and I will bid you adieu now. He's like zoning out. Maybe he got into the day cool. He did not, I promise. Don't take my cat away from me. <laughs> but with that said, I'll see you next week. Bye guys.